the beginning. If we do not raise money, if we do not go from about nine and a half or ten thousand dollars a student per year to being close to maybe like what New York spends, they spend twenty two thousand dollars a year per yeah. kid. We need to be moving in that direction dramatically because if we don't do that, if I just get elected and we don't raise money, there's not a lot you can do. You can make things better with the money we have, and I'm committed to that. But you don't in decrease class sizes. You don't have more teaching assistants. You don't make sure that, that everybody gets health care. You don't do the things that make a school district thrive. And it has to thrive because our children are worth it. You know, 70% of this tax will come from corporations. Corporations who have been kind of been getting off easy since yeah. 1978 when Proposition 13 froze their taxes right there at 1978. You go to Disneyland, they're paying 1978 property taxes. Are you paying 1978 ticket prices? No. 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 <laughs> if, you go, if you go to any of the bank buildings downtown, they're charging you fees for everything. Yeah. Everything they can find a fee to charge you on, they're charging yeah. you on, and they're paying 1978 property taxes. Is that a good idea? No. We need to tell the corporate businesses of this community, you made your money here, now put some back in our children and do it right now and stop opposing it and stop lying to people. I got a letter in the mail at my house saying that seniors are going to be harmed dramatically by this proposition. Seniors are exempt. And then you read all the way down on both sides and finally in small print in the bottom, you know what it says? It's, you're going to have to apply for the exemption. Yeah. Oh, big deal. Yeah, which is typical of any exemption. Right. Yeah. So please, all those people who are telling you to vote, no, don't pay any attention to them. They are liars and cheats, and they are people who have a lot of wealth, and their greed is endless, and they don't want to spend anything on our children, even though they made their billions here in California.